So basically, it's a whole complex and mixture of uh, communication courses, um, website designing, networking, and going to database. Hi Neeraj, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, so before we start off, I will request you to introduce yourself to our viewers, please. Hello everyone, my name is Neeraj Kumar. Actually, I came in Canada uh, in December 2018 to pursue my undergraduation here in uh, uh, University of the Fraser Valley, which is in Abbotsford, uh, BC, British Columbia. So it's a very nice university and I have done a computer information system diploma, which is a two year program, which we're going to talk about later. Perfect. Thank you so much uh, for your introduction, uh, Neeraj. So let's start with the first question, uh, which is, and I ask this question uh, uh, almost all the time. Uh, so the question is, why did you decide to take this program considering that you were coming after 12th grade? So uh, considering uh, as I was a IT student and I've taken computer uh, as my major in my 11th and 12th grade, so uh, I chose uh, two programs, which is hotel management as well as a um, IT field. So basically I chose IT over uh, hotel management because uh, when I was getting visa, so it's uh, like more beneficial to take the course which uh, matches your background instead of taking the course other than like your background. So I have gone to IT industry. Oh, that's that's wonderful. This is a very you know uh, sensible answer because you have to consider that as well, right? You don't want your visa to get re rejected, right? Um, yeah. And just a follow up question on that: uh, Why did you uh, why did you decide going uh, into University of Fraser Valley over other universities and colleges? So personally, if I if I speak, so I've applied to two of the uh, universities. Basically, one is college, one is university. So uh, one of them is UFE, which is University of the Fraser Valley, and the second one is Douglas College. I prefer uh, go to university because uh, in universities you will get a lot of like uh, experience, exposure, and the volunteering experience. Even you can get outside experience too because uh, many of the presidents or like leadership uh, community groups in local come to universities more than colleges. So that's why I like university over college. All right, Neeraj, so going forward, if you can tell us a little bit about the, the program itself, like what kind of courses you get, uh, the subjects in the curriculum, uh, the fees of the program, the length of the program, which will definitely help the, the audience. Sure, that's a great question. So uh, as I told you earlier, I have done computer information system diploma. So there are two courses which uh, you can say connect each other but more of uh, more talking about computer information. So that is basically about uh, uh, basic website designing, basic networking, and then you get to know about SQL queries, which are uh, how to manage database uh, at the backend. So this is all about uh, uh, the courses and talking about the extra courses, which are like communication in which you uh, you get to learn how to uh, speak in public, which is called public speaking, uh, professional communication, professional writing. So basically it's a whole complex and mixture of uh, communication courses, um, website designing, networking, and going to database. Wonderful. So this is a mixture of uh, everything. Nice. And uh, if you can tell us a little bit about fees and uh, length of the program, that would be Sure. So well. it's basically for diploma, it comes in uh, two, uh, you can say two phases, one diploma, one degree, two years for diploma, four years for degree, uh, which is also called a bachelor's degree. And talking about the fees, when I was um, uh, studying in my last uh, last semester then they have changed the fees but it's around eight thousand four hundred dollars for 12 credits which is a flat fee in which you can take like three credits of three four courses or four credits of three courses mix and match or you can take like even more than 12 credits but you have to pay 630 per credit if you are taking um, any uh, extra credit above 12 credits so the, that's all about fees 
Oh, perfect. Thank you for thank you for sharing that. And I don't know, uh, Neeraj, but I've heard this a lot of time that, you know, studying in university is, is not easy, right? And that's a, one of the reasons that people avoid, you know, go, getting into university. Uh, so yeah. what do you think from your experience? Like, is it really hard? Do you get a lot of assignment or is it possible to do part time as well? Like, uh, that's another thing that I, I like I get to to ask a lot that can I do part time if I'm in university? So what do you think? What do you, what do you want to say about that? I mean, um, each and every student do part-time works, no matter what, like either they are in university or college, you have to do it. But a special thing is like managing your time, how you manage your time, how you organize your things up and how you uh, organize all the deadlines for what you have given. So basically, uh, students do think like uh, there are more assignments in universities compared to colleges. That could be one of the reason, but uh, again, managing time, how you deal with it, and uh, only working 20 hours a week not a big hustle for all mm -hmm. the students so i think um, it's possible not impossible so it's possible <laughs> yeah. so neeraj as you have completed your program and now you've stepped into the professional world uh, so the question is what are some of the career options that people can expect after taking this program uh, especially with you know the, the people uh, for people with no work experience or not a strong like academic background like yourself who came after 12th 12, uh, 12th grade yeah. so what are some of the job titles or career options that one can expect so basically uh, guys like me who have no experience or kind of like came after 12 then only diploma for two years and searching for jobs this is a basic you can say a basic requirements everybody has but if you have more then awesome but some of the titles uh, or you can say a job descriptions which you can get as like web designer web developer which is um, also called uh, which is also divided as back end and front end uh, website making then you can go to user support or you can become a network technician if you are more into networking or even you can uh, be a system analyst so there are a lot uh, like a whole list of jobs which uh, you can explore over the UFE website too. So if you go and search about UFE careers or go or search about UFE computer information system diploma, then you can explore what career opportunities are open for you once you have completed this program. And uh, I wanna add one more thing. So if you have no, no work experience, then either you can make a good relationships uh, with your professor, uh, which can like, uh, like they can give you a free kind of work where you can volunteer and gain some kind of free experience over that experience you can make a resume and apply for jobs so even that uh, makes a whole lot of sense if you graduated and still you have three years work permit at least you can volunteer for like three to four months and on top of that you can apply into resume and then go ahead and straight apply to jobs so even you can get a lot of um, um, interviews and hopefully you get one so that's a kind of a uh, career expectations you can expect after completing this. Wow, that's a great tip of having like volunteering experience, like you can work on the projects, especially for those who don't have work experience, right? So it's kind of like a struggle. Uh, I mean, like you still have to stay positive. You will definitely get a job. Everybody gets a job, right? So whatever, uh, uh, Neeraj, whatever you mentioned, uh, those were the entry level positions, I believe, right? Right, mostly entry level. And then uh, if you have more experience, then you can get the same job with the like more higher salary or more higher package. All right, Neeraj, so this question, it's, it's been asked a lot of time, uh, the other videos that I have that, uh, what are the programs that someone can, uh, can select, especially if they are coming after 12th? Uh, or if I have to ask you in a way that on what basis um, someone should opt a program, like what different uh, categories or what uh, different elements they should look for if, if they're deciding a program again keeping your example that you came after 12th as well so uh, the students who are like coming after 12th or after graduation mostly like most of the students do prefer to go into their same field let's mm -hmm. say if i have taken non-medical then i've gone to computer because i have computer as my major with non-medical in my grade 11 and 12th but uh, students do get a chance to go to any other courses as well. Let's say I was, I when I was applying, I was also interested in going to hotel management, but I didn't. Sometimes it's 
it's like kind of you can say not a pressure or you can say not a requirement but it's a requirement for visa so officers uh, or when you're applying for study visa they check basically okay what's your ba- what what your actual background is in which program you are going okay that makes sense but if that doesn't make sense then sometimes they refuse your visa but the main thing and the most important thing while applying that is making your statement of purpose which is called sop very great and very you can say um, the officer who is checking your file at least they can convince themselves like yeah, okay this person is good and he is going for a valid reason mm-hmm. So on top of that, uh, even a student can choose. I have seen students choosing uh, IT, which is IT, uh, like any field of IT, data science, or you can go web designing, web developer, or computer information system diploma, or into business BBA mm-hmm. programs for BBA diploma, two years BBA degree, four years, or you can say advanced diploma too. Sometimes student do does a uh, three years of advanced diploma, which is lesser than degree, more than diploma. So yes, you will uh, definitely get a lot of jobs here. Um, international students on average comes up like 1500 per semester, only in Abbotsford. Mm-hmm.